Yes, congratulations. Ah, we're starting with some very nice Persona 3 music. Always good to listen to. Very mellow here for this next match that's about to unfold. Let's take a look at these two teams. We have normal rules with switching on. For the blue corner, it's going to be Happini, Togetic, and Doug Trio. And in the red corner, we have Miltank, Ponyta, and Deoxys Normal. So with one tryhard on the team, on on either side, uh, well, one tryhard on the red team only, uh, that will definitely might uh, shift the betting over to one team. But who knows? Remember the rule when it comes to legendaries, always sometimes bet with the tryhard. Always, sometimes, maybe, not always, but can't be too sure. Never yeah. on time, sometimes, always, maybe. <laughs> Seems easy enough to understand. Just write it down, just like the instructions for how to play this uh, new side game we got going on here. Indeed, indeed. But, get into uh, not focusing too much on the Oxus here. We have Milk Tank with a scrappy set. It will not really be able to benefit from its ability, but it still has toxic rollout and some little RNG play with a uh, present. Happy. Meanwhile, go, go, ahead, go ahead. No, no, I was just going to say Happini's uh, Serene Grace here gives a flamethrower a 20% chance to burn here on all of them except for the Ponyta, of course. Actually, the Ponyta's ability actually completely negates the flamethrower. That's true, that's very true. Happy has a a lot of tools to play with, though, a counter, toxic, and soft boil. It's a very, uh, not more, not really based off attacking, but more off of relying on your opponent's attacks kind of set. A little bit of a stall set here, but Happini is not the strongest of Pokemon, so it can be easily KO'd over time. Definitely, yes. That is if you have uh, physical attacks. Special attacks, uh, Happini has actually a pretty good special defense here with 209. Yeah, I did not notice that's, that's one of its definitely one of its better stats across the board for it. Uh, other than it's all, a very nice HP. Mill Tank isn't going to care a whole lot, seeing how it has uh, three physical moves there, including and also Toxic there, to be able to get a lot of damage in over time. As we encounter Deoxys here. Uh oh. Looks like Deoxys got mad about us, uh, kind of disregarding him. Yeah, we did kind of ignore him a little bit. Maybe we should talk about him over here real quick. Deoxys Normal has Meteor Mash, Shadow Ball, and Ice Punch, and Sha Charge Beam. Don't hurt me, Deoxys! <laughs> uh, uh, he also has a Pressure ability. So he's able to uh, reduce PP but quite a bit for the rest of the other team. Uh, hopefully that plays a good part. Uh, good luck, Deoxys. And that Hearthstone there is just to throw at someone if they disrespect him any further. Oh, uh, yes, definitely. Oh, it looks like he gets his own battle music at the Sunset Coliseum. Beautiful setting for this battle as the Yellow Trainer and Pink Trainer are ready to do this one. Happini and Miltank are sent out to pick Pokemon will do battle. The sunset is truly moving. And Miltank goes for a rollout. A good choice. This will build up over time. Happini responds with a counter. Good solid uh -oh. hit back. For double damage. It looks like if it gets another rollout off, that may or may not be enough to, well, it looks like it may not be enough to kill to knock out Happini. And he can reply with a counter. Let's see how it plays out. The red corner deals out multiple hits here as Happini responds with a counter. Counter hits back. It and Milk it Tank. Does. And Milk Tank is out of there. Looks like that rollout played against the red team in this case. Let's see what Ponyta can do. Happini is down under half health here after those two rollout hits. Looks like the blue corner is going to attempt to heal. Uh, it's the damage it took from rollout. Let's see what Ponyta... Oh, it looks like Ponyta is going to get the upper hand and go for a Flare Blitz. All or nothing. Torched by Flare Blitz and taken down. Happini will faint. Uh, takes a little bit of recoil damage here, but the blue corner is going to need to send in a new Pokemon. I believe points take a little bit more, thanks to Life Orb. <laughs> TPP simulator, trash. <laughs> Duck Trio is in now for the blue team here, looking to get a good type advantage over the Duck Trio. Or over the Ponyta, I'm sorry. 
No problem, Dump Trio goes for an Earthquake. Terrible from the ground and takes out Ponyta. And it looks like the only Pokemon left on Red Team is Deoxys. He's got his theme playing, he's got a chance, he's got a chance. He had the encounter music, he has his music playing now, he has the moves to take out Dump Trio and Togetic, but can he muster the courage to do so? He's gonna have to try hard as try hard as he ever could try before. He goes for Ice Punch. Massive and there hit goes. and Doug Trio goes down. But can he take out Tokatik? Or Toketic? I never understood which one is the right way to pronounce that. I've heard I've said Togetic and I've heard Togetic, so which both seem fine to me. Tokatik it is, and Tokatik goes oh and Diatu gets the upper hand and goes for an ice punch. Super effective again here on Togetic, and it's now down under half health. Togetic, re Togetic replies with a body slam. Will it paralyze? Getting a hustle boost, stab boost, and they need paralysis here. No paralysis, so Deoxys will be finishing it off with another ice punch. Ooh, looks like Deoxys will be closing this battle out. Deoxys really did try hard here, and Togetic goes down. The red team will be the winners. Congratulations, red team. The options really pulled through for you this time. Don't get used to it. Well fought, Pink Trainer, and Red Team, enjoy your payout. Let's enjoy some Mario Kart Super Circuit music on that glorious GBA sound front. <laughs> I actually had this game. It wasn't too bad, but it was kind of hard to steer using the, just the control pad. Yeah, it's odd uh, playing a Mario Kart game with just, you know, yeah, it's like a basic control pad. It's kind of difficult, and plus, we're not going to be really hard. But that being said, we're back to side game. And now we have some more buttons to deal with. Yeah, 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 guys, can we wait? Oh, we have currently seven tokens on the line, thanks to Tiberius29. Thank you very much, Tiberius. And all others who put in their tokens. All right, so we have start, select, and... Oh, no, they put two buttons at the same time. I'm not sure how to deal with that. Oh, no, 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 no. Can we go on wait, please? I need to be able to write this down, guys. We need to, we need to wait longer. We need to wait. I'm not sure, not everyone here understands all the controls here. I'm me being one of them. Oh no. No, 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 no. I'm not ready for this game. <laughs> but we have yes, 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 yes to all the recipients of the tokens. Congratulations. Oh yeah. Oh man. We have a secrecy match before us as you see two Pokemon are not revealed till the match begins. I wonder who it could be. Blue Corner has a Bastiodon. It also has a Lyunin. Red has a Vibrava and a Spirit Team. What can you do? Switching is enabled for this match. We'll see if that's in the used. It'll be very C. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this sing along has gone on long enough. I think All right, that, just... that's, that's and... enough of that. <laughs> Let's just analyze. I'm sorry for everyone. <laughs> but that being said, though, on the red corner we have Vibrava and Spiritomb. Uh, we've never, not really known what that secret character could be, but Vibrava, or Spiritomb definitely can uh, hold its own in this match with Shadow Ball, Psychic Shockwave, and Pain Split being a, definitely a big part of the strategy. And Vibrava, um, well, its stats aren't exactly the best. It does have Dragon Pulse, Earth Power, Giga Drain, and a nice stand attack for Accuracy Hacks. Red Corner will be coming out of the gate a little bit blind there, but they will have enough time to be able to switch if they have a bad matchup here against this Bastiodon. Definitely, definitely. Uh, uh, it could definitely uh, safe switching too. Uh, Bastiodon is not exactly the greatest attacker, um, but only having Flash Cannon and Fire Blast to do uh, only 155 base special. Metal Burst can be used, though, as a, an offensive move, though, being able to fire back either physical or special attacks for 1.5 damage that it received. Ah, I see. Yes. Metal Sound also being the safe bet will guaranteed, uh, definitely, uh, guaranteed lower special defense. A 
Linoon will not be able to use its slash against Spirit Tomb as it's a ghost type, but it can uh, thief over in the Zap Plate and steal it after it eats its Starf Berry at half health. Oh, yeah, that's very true. <laughs> Forehead on the phone, and the cat's watching. <laughs> the cat's just screaming at him. Doesn't like them on the phone, as we are now down under 30 seconds in this secrecy match. Get those bets in while you can. 15 seconds left on the clock. I thought for a second this music was from uh, Majora's Mask. It sounds kind of like when the moon's coming crashing down. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely can get that. Well, they're both on the N64. So ah, okay, and they it. actually came out the same year, so that might explain oh, yeah. a few things. <laughs> and the two Pokemon reveal themselves. It's going to be Magnemite on the blue corner and Clampearl on the red team. Good start for red team. Uh, definitely gets a type advantage here. And Clamperl is fairly tanky, uh, if I remember correctly. Nope, and Batchadon is going for the switch, but so, so is Clamperl. Let's see what the, uh, each team decides to send in. Red team is going to be sending in their Bra Brava here. Bastion is sent back to its Pokeball, and I believe Magnemite is going to take over here for the blue team here. It so looks it's a very like good it. switch here for the red team. Looks like Red Team's going for Earth Power, and Boozin decides not to switch out, and it takes a massive hit by Earth Power and goes down. It's a one-hit wonder. Magnemite goes down from heavy damage, so Blue Corner is going to need to switch into new Pokemon. It looks like they're going back to Bastiodon. Bastiodon is also four times weak to uh, uh, ground moves here, so... For Bravo, is probably just going to be coming in with another Earth Power. Earth Power rips the ground wide open, and Pachydon takes a, a lot of damage. And actually, it's KO in one hit. So that's two Pokemon knocked out with intense blows, so Lightnoon is now going to have to try to clutch things here for the blue team. Let's see what it can do. Can it make up for its fallen comrades? Lion goes for a belly drum here. This is gonna cut its attack in half and max its attack, or cut its HP in half and max its attack. Oh, and nice. Uh, gets a special attack boost too from the Star Fairy, just for good measure. Ooh, and Lion man manages to hang in there. Let's see what they do. Lineoon comes in with a slash here. That ooh, critical hit will ensure that Vibrava goes down. Vibrava did not take that slash very nicely, and it goes down in one hit. And Red Corner decides to send in Clamp Pearl. A solid choice. The will be able to survive in a slash from Lineoon. Clamp Pearl does have the shell armor ability, so it cannot be critical hit here as Lineoon comes in with another slash. Ooh, but it just couldn't take it. It's down. So, it's gonna be all up to Spirit Tomb now. Linoon is now at very low health. Spirit Tomb just needs to be able to live through one attack and be able to, so it can finish off Linoon. Indeed, and since it is a ghost type, Slash will no longer be an option for the blue team. Using Thief for, uh, what is it? Neutral damage. Does half health and managed to take away its zap plate. That will lower the uh, attack of Shockwave here, but that should probably. Oh, critical Ooh. hit! That will the do critical it. Critical hit slam. Dude is unable to take that hit and it goes down, so Spirit Tomb is able to clutch things there for the red team after Linoon mounted a very valiant effort. A valiant effort indeed, a remarkable one. And but blue team ends up not uh, take ends up taking the L this time, and red team will take the win. Congratulations. I bet if uh, Linoan had been able to get a uh, special defense boost off of the Starf Berry, it would have been able to win that match. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. But that was not the case here, so the red team is the winners here, and they enjoy a very nice 119% payout. Indeed. With all that being said, 
It's the hourly break. <laughs> Speaking of roller coaster tycoon music. Oh, well, there it is. Oh, yeah. oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I recognize this match. Hmm. Are these the Stadium 2 sets as well, Chef? Uh, before my time, so I would not be able to know. Good thing I can't bet. This match is actually rather infamous in uh, Twitch Play's Pokemon Stadium Battles. Oh, I see. There's a bit of history to it. There is a little bit of history to it. Well, I guess I'll just have to wait and see what kind of match this is. Cool with that being said, uh, I guess we can do the who's that Pokemon while we're waiting here, the hour of the break. So, for number one, it can summon rain clouds. People long ago revered it as the bringer of plentiful hearts. It always rocked its head slowly backwards and forwards as if trying to kiss someone. And it tests everything by touching its lips, which remember which remembers what it's like, what it likes and dislikes. Hmm, that's a very those are very unique clues here. None of them are very like related to the other. Indeed. We can definitely exclude one, I think. You never know. But uh two and three are very, very closely related. Seems that's like. true. Two and three have to do with uh, lips and kissing there. Yes, yes. I can definitely remember what one is, just because uh, it's a very unique... It's an odd entry for the Pokemon, because you would never think of, like, oh, that Pokemon's really in that sort of sense. What is number one? Uh, number one is Bronzong. Oh, really? That's... that's. Hmm. I would not have yeah, guessed that. Exactly, because, I mean... It's it, it's the randomest entry, but it's like, oh, it can summon rain clouds. Like, oh, I've never seen this have anything to do with harvests or anything, but... Yeah, when I think of Bronzong, I don't think of, like, bringing up the rain. <laughs> yeah. It was a, it's, a, it's a statue, you know? That's what it is. <laughs> I also don't see any rain dance sets on Bronzong most of the time. I'd like to thank you all for watching Twitch Plays Pokemon here on Twitch TV. Twitch's original Twitch Plays launched in February of 2014. Twitch Plays Pokemon could not be possible without subscriptions, donations, and viewers like you. Thanks to two, all 242 of you. Yes, we're glad you all could make it here to enjoy your time with either either with your friends or just here to uh, just to bet and have a good time. We're uh, well, we all appreciate you being here. I appreciate donations, subscriptions, everything. Or just hanging out with us. Oh, and the yeah. answer is Smoochum. Smoochum it is. And you are a boy from Pallet Town. Oh, we can't choose our gender in this game. We are already locked in. I see. <laughs> you are now 10 and get your Pokemon license, which I never understood. Why is it 10? When you're 10, you can now go wander around the world, which is kind of dangerous, but, you know, have fun. Yeah, you can leave You can leave the house forever with nothing but a backpack. Yeah, no food. <laughs> I mean, I mean you have Pokemon food. <laughs> plenty of that around, yeah. If there's an option to pick...